I have some yummy colors for you today in a recipe I call Buckets of Love. Hi, I'm Dorothy Fagan. Welcome to my studio by the pond. My inspiration for this recipe actually was my stumped stumpedness at trying to find a gift for my twins. My twins were turning 40 this summer, and since I've always thought of their birthday as my accomplishment, I really wanted to celebrate this big milestone. So what does one give a 40-year-old son, two of them? I, I, I didn't have a clue. They have everything they need. So racking my brain, I've been pondering around for the last six weeks trying to come up with something. Funny thing, <laughs> my husband sent me upstairs to hunt in the closet for something and I discovered two paintings, buckets of flowers, unfinished. So I brought them down in the studio and proceeded to finish them. And it was during those paintings that I realized that those two paintings were intended for my twin sons. The perfect birthday present, buckets of love. One is red carnations, the other wildflowers. So today I'll show you the red carnations and what I learned about them. And then I needed a card to go with it. So I wound up painting a card and I have the recipe. I will show you how to make the card. It, it's really, really nice, easy, fun, and healing. Come on in the studio. This is my son, Eric, with me and my dad, taken about 10 years ago. As you can see, the carnations are red, pink, coral, and even lavender. When I looked up the meaning of the carnations, I was hooked. I knew it had to be a gift for Eric. Starting with a blank watercolor card, make your strokes of golden yellow radiating outward. The challenge here is to make one stroke and then just let it come to you. The creator is saying, okay, now what are you going to do with this one? Don't go back in and touch the strokes. Let them sit on the paper just exactly the way the creator's given them to you. This is my, what I call the challenge of accepting the gift in the form it's given. So let them radiate out. Pause if you have to after each one. Go slowly and just enjoy the process. The spectrum of colors helps you ground the energy and make the connection. Then come back and use the green heart, blue part of the spec, blue green part of the spectrum to connect the bouquet together. Here we go. A few more strokes. Fill in, leave white space in between. And now this is a watercolor pencil. So you can dip it in the water. I'm drawing back into the wet paint right here so it's gonna drag a little bit of the paint as we go. This helps ground the energy. It kind of gives this drawing the a little bit of structure. Don't try to follow the lines too much. Let them go out there, just express yourself. This is fusing the wet and the dry together. You can dip the tip of the pe uh, pencil in the water and um, when it goes on the paper, you'll see that it bleeds. In the next frame there, you'll see the, um, Now write the title on the bottom. You can see I didn't go around the line too carefully. It looks a little better if it's, if it's loosely drawn rather than tightly drawn. Now dip it in the water so that the 
paint in the pencil will flow. Add a name, make it personal, a few little centers in the flowers and you're good to go. Let it dry. Resist the temptation to mux around with it or try to make it better. The gift here is to let the faith muscle be flexed and accept the gift as it's given. Post your comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe to the Joy's Garden channel. See you next time.